Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first class of ALS2. My name is John Racine, and I'll be introducing the class to you right now. Um, there I am. I'm John Racine. Nice to meet you. Um, we're going to take a look at a few uh, slides from PowerPoint, and I'm going to show you the syllabus and a couple of other things online. So here we go. Okay, so um, this is the introduction to this class. And what is it exactly? What is ALS2? Well, I think you know already, but uh, just to go over it again, this is Academic Listening Strategies 2, right? Um, and you probably know that academic means it's going to be about your university life. It's going to be about um, you know, your major, and your classes, your teachers, and lectures in particular, OK? Um, listening, I think you know what that is, right? Listening, OK? And strategies, uh, maybe that's a tougher word. I think you know the Japanese for it. But to say it in simple English, we might call it a, a strategy is, a, is like a plan, or it's a tool that can help us to reach our goals. In this case, academic goals, right? We want to be better listeners. We want to be able to understand what we hear in lectures, that kind of thing. So that's the kind of strategies we'll be learning in this class. And I think you know what the two is, right? It's two capital I's, and that means two, and that means it's, uh, it's second year, right? It's a second year class. So most people just call it second year listening, okay? Who am I? My name is John Racine. In Katakana, it's Rasheen John. Um, <clears throat> it's not really Rasheen, right? It's Racine, Racine. Right? Um, now, if that's my name, my name is John Racine, right? My surname, my family name is Racine, and my given name is John. Um, I think we have some options about what to call me. What would you call me? Would you call me John? Or would you call me just Racine? Or would you call me Mr. John? Or would you call me Mr. Racine? Some of these are okay and some of them aren't. Um, what do you think? Think about it. Do you call me John? Do you call me Racine? Do you call me Mr. John? Or do you call me Mr. Racine? Well, let's find out. John's okay. It's very casual, but I don't mind. Um, just keep in mind that even though some teachers will tell you it's okay, some teachers will say, no, it's not okay. Um, especially a Japanese teacher would be very strange to call Tanaka Sensei, Tanaka Akihiro, like just call him Akihiro or something, right? So uh, be careful about that, okay? Racine, boo -boo. you can't call me Racine, okay? Um, it's very rude to call someone just by their surname, right? That's like, hey, Tanaka. You wouldn't say that to your teacher. To your friends, it's okay, but not to your teacher, right? Um, Mr. John, not okay. Uh, if you said it was okay, you're probably thinking, well, Racine Sensei is okay in Japanese, and John Sensei is okay in Japanese. Uh, but Mr. John doesn't make sense in English. Okay, we only use Mr. and Miss and Mrs. Um, for, uh, or Ms., I should say, for uh, last names, for surnames, right? Family names. So you can't put it with John. It's not my family name. And Mr. Racine, that's fine. Um, no problem with that. Okay, Mr. Racine, like Tanaka Sensei. Okay, and there's a couple of others you could use as well like Professor Racine. I like that. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And uh, Dr. Racine. Yes, I have a PhD. It's Hakase. Um, you could use that too if you want, but uh, Mr. Racine is fine and John is fine too. So about this class, um, since we're going to do this on demand, um, a lot of things that you'll be doing will be on YouTube, like this video. And you'll also be getting all your instructions and your homework and things like that on my doc. So what I want to show you today is the syllabus and talk to you about the textbooks. So let's take a look at that.
Okay, this is my doc. Okay, you probably recognize it. I'm sure you've signed in many times. So after you sign in, go to courses and materials. Okay. And look for our class, Tuesday, second period. Where are we? There we go, Tuesday, second period. And if you go to course content over here, you'll see in a folder with important information in it, that's where your syllabus is, okay? So you click on that, there it is, there's the syllabus. Um, let's take a look at this now. Okay, so this is the spring of 2021. This is Academic Listening Strategies 2, Tuesday, second period. My name is John Racine. I have an office in the central building in Chuoto, um, room 936 on the ninth floor, but I won't be there very much this year. So it's probably better just to send an email and you can see my address there. So it says here, in this class, we will try to develop your English listening skills by listening to real English lectures, exploring such interesting topics as psychology, business, and the media. Okay, so we're listening and it's academic, right? It's about lectures and about academic topics. Emphasis will be placed on learning academic listening strategies that will make you a better listener and a better note taker. Develop these, developing these skills can help you in all of your classes, not just in English, okay? So you get better at catching the good stuff and making better notes about it, okay? Saves you time when you're trying to study from your notes later. All right, it says, please note, this class will be conducted on demand using mostly MyDoc and YouTube, which I just explained. Okay, the textbook is called Lecture Ready One. Here it is. This is it. Okay. It's purple. It says Lecture Ready One at the top. And this is also the uh, second edition, which you can see kind of down here, right? Second edition. So don't buy the first edition and don't buy a different Lecture Ready that's a different color. Okay. It should be uh, purple like this Lecture Ready One. Okay. Um, there is also one more textbook for this class, and that is called Vocabulary for Economics, Management, and International Business. Okay, it looks like this. Um, also, be careful about this one. Don't buy the red one. Okay, we're looking at the green one here, right? Green money, green money. Okay, it's easy to remember. And we'll be talking about this more later on. You'll have vocabulary quizzes from that book. And it says here, your grades will be based on the following. Okay, class participation and assignments, 25% of your mark, okay? Classes are not live this semester, so participation and assignments are closely related. Anytime you are given an assignment or test, you must complete it by the following class or you will be marked absent. Be sure to keep up with the homework assignments so I know you are participating. Okay, if we don't have live classes, then how do I know that you're here, right? That's why you've got to do those assignments, okay? Be very careful, make sure you finish them on time. Um, so if I give you homework this week, make sure you complete it before Tuesday, second period next week, okay? Uh, vocabulary quizzes. There will be five vocabulary quizzes during the semester. Together, they are worth 25% of your final grade. Um, there's a midterm exam halfway through, about the first two chapters of the textbook. And then there's a final exam at the end on chapters three and four. And all together, that's 100% of your grade. And I think you know the Dokyo. Um, rating scale. Also, I think you know the attendance policy for Zenkari, 
Okay, basically, three absences are okay, but a fourth absence, it's over. Okay, Kubi. Okay, so please be careful. Um, do your homework. Make sure I know that you're attending and uh, doing what you have to to keep up. Okay. Um, if you're really, really sick, you can write to me and say, you know, why you couldn't finish the homework in that week. Um, or, you know, if something else happens, some kind of an emergency, please let me know. Okay. Okay. Um, and remember, three lates equals one absence. Okay. So be careful about that as well. Actually, I don't think you have to worry about that because there's no late, right? Um, there's no class time, so you don't have to worry about being late this year, okay? That's just in a regular year, not an on-demand year. Okay, and here's our schedule. Um, it might change a little bit, but this is basically what it looks like. Um, this week, um, I'm telling you about, the, about how the class works. That's orientation. And uh, you'll see that your homework will have to do with a self-introduction. And next week, we will start on the textbook. So um, you can look forward to that. Please make sure you have both textbooks by next week um, because we will start using them very soon. Okay, we're starting next week, really. Um, and you can see we'll spend three lessons on each chapter. Chapter one, lesson one, two, three. Chapter two, lesson one, two, three. And you can see over here, we've got our vocabulary quizzes. Okay, so the first one will be in week four in May, and then basically every two weeks after that, there's the midterm exam, uh, quiz, 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 and the final exam in the final day of class. But we'll talk more about those things later. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, your instructions for the homework and everything else will appear on my doc. Um, maybe that's where you found out about this video, and every week there will be something posted there, and it'll send out an announcement by email to your Dokyo address. Okay, so keep checking your mail. Um, keep checking my doc, because that's where the instructions are, and I hope you enjoy this class. Okay, I think it's very different in some ways from your first year listening class, but um, I hope you'll like it. And we'll talk about all of these things later. So um, good luck with the homework. I'll be checking. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.